Hello everyone, my name is Reza and welcome to my channel. In this step-by-step -step video, we're diving headfirst into the enchanting world of translucent water creation, picking up where we left off in our previous video. Whether you're a seasoned game developer looking to refine your techniques or an aspiring creator eager to learn the ropes, this tutorial caters to all skill levels. Unreal Engine has never been more accessible and I'm thrilled to share my knowledge with you. Let's get started. Here I am inside Unreal Engine 5. I have a simple scene with a uh, water geometry in there. What I did, I assigned the dynamic water material that we did together in a previous video and assigned that to this geometry. While that material worked for scenarios like ocean, for a pool or pond or in a smaller, rather smaller scale environment, this may not work uh, quite well. The reason for that is I'm looking at this water and it's just so murky and opaque to a point that I cannot see the bottom of the pool. And that's not really what you get when you have a pool this size. And if you're standing in front of it or right next to it and look into the pool, you should be able to see to some degree the bottom of the pool with some refraction. Uh, and this just simply is not going to add realism to the scene. And that's what we are going to fix in this shader. So in order to approach this uh, in non-destructively, I am going to keep the uh, old water material and I am going to duplicate it and call that MM water underscore translucent. And let's edit that instead. I'm gonna double click on that. And you can see these are the nodes that we dealt with in our previous video, dynamic water video. So make sure to watch that and follow along and make that in order to be able to sort of catch up to this video. All right, let's make some tweaks and get ready for main changes. The tweak that I'm going to make right off the bat is I am going to disconnect world position uh, offset. So alt click to disconnect this portion of my uh, material node. I am going to delete those. Let's see what else we have here. This is uh, in charge of tiling. As you remember, we did tiling using absolute word position. So I probably keep that. This one, on the other hand, I don't use. Uh, I may actually select all of these guys and move them up since we are going to use opacity and we are going to use refraction. So we want to make sure that we have enough space to do all of that, probably pushing that back ever so slightly and moving these two guys all the way down. All right, we are ready to um, add certain nodes. First things first is going to be opacity and to enable opacity, I need to switch my blend mode, material blend mode from opaque to translucent. So I need to make sure that I go to the material panel, blend mode from opaque into translucent. So that's one big change that I would like to make on this main material node. Now, another change that I would like to make if I scroll down is in the lighting mode. At this stage, it's set to volumetric non-directional. I want to click on that and switch that to surface translucency volume. That gives me a much better result when you interact with any environment lights. Now, uh, as you can see, this refraction is disabled and I need to enable it so I can work with index of refraction and add realism to our material. And the way that you um, get that enabled is actually fairly straightforward. You just type in ref for reflection and you can see the translucency for screen space comes up. We don't need that. For forward shading, high quality reflections um, is something that I actually would like to turn on. What this does, it enables multiple 
parallax corrected reflections and add slightly to the realism. Now, this is quite important. Reflection, uh, reflection method is set to none. I would like to set that to index of refraction. And that allows me to actually feed in the real index of refraction that we have in real life. Actually, we have a chart for it uh, and different transmissions. We have different degrees of refraction. So we are going to use that. While we still have access to metallic, to specular and to normal, we now enabled opacity, which works for us, and we are going to use reflection, index of refraction as well. So really a great setup for what we're going to use. We are going to actually use metallic and specular as well. Uh, you will see this method works really well uh, with that setup. So let's go to the next chapter and start prepping for our opacity control here. Okay, let's start with um, Fennel mode. And we used Fennel mode in our introduction to material video. And basically Fennel expression calculates the fall off based on the surface normal and the direction of the camera. So if I just go in there and type in Fennel, it comes up, it's got exponent, basically is how quickly the output value falls off, whatever you value you give that. And basically larger value means a tighter fall off. And then we have base reflect value, which we are going to use when we are going to put together certain nodes to control index of refraction. So we basically need to feed that into an alpha of a, a linear interpolate node and we did use linear interpolate node in uh, previous videos basically it, it blends two input values based on the third input which is our mask so if i put l and left click we get lerp and we're blending these two based on the third value which is our alpha so this one goes straight into alpha so we can control these two now and that goes into our opacity now i very much like to extract this exponent as our parameter so we can use that in our material instance so i'm just going to right click on it and go promote to a parameter i can double click on it and to go in here and call that opacity Fennel. So that comes up in my material instance. For these two, I really would like to control them also separately. But first things first, let's check the opacity Fennel and how what value we think it's good. So if I put something like one, you can see that we definitely get get some effect where uh, if I switch to Q, probably it's way more obvious areas that are perpendicular to the camera are um, transparent and as we move away from the camera we are getting some opaque areas but the reality is i don't really want to get a fully opaque value and fully transparent value because they don't mean much in water we're always dealing with translucent so um let's go to lerp and instead of having a very absolute zero to one transparent opaque let's bring them to something like 0.8 for the opaque areas and maybe 0.2 for fully transparent areas so it doesn't look too fake that definitely works by the way i've gone ahead and removed the background and stats as well in case if you're wondering why i'm not getting any background i'm surely getting the reflection from the background okay that's uh, good progress let's save that and let's create a material instance out of this so um i am actually going to copy the name create material instance mi underscore and then v probably i need to get rid of that master material abbreviation and drag and drop in here right off the bat we see great deal of translucency however 
I don't need to mention it that reflection is a bit of an issue at the moment. But the index of refraction is not accurate. So uh, let's go to the next chapter and see how we can fix this issue. I am going to save and switch to Material Editor. All right, for reflection, we are going to repurpose uh, this setup. Well, why not? We are going to use Fennel for index of refraction. So let's just uh, go ahead and select these two, Control C, Control V, bring this over. Let's make some changes. We are going to prep that for reflection. Now with Lerp node, we want to focus on index of refraction and give it a bit of a variation. So I am going to start from one and the index of refraction for water is 1.33. I'm just going to punch that in with exponent, which is kind of a strength of the Fennel. I am going to actually parameterize that and we are going to call that reflection Fennel. Let's go with the value of six and plug the lerp into refraction. Now I think because we made an instance, it's not a bad idea to parameterize some of these channels as well. We have uh, a parameter for reflection Fennel, a parameter for opacity, but I really would like to have controls over these two as well, how opaque or transparent the water is going to be. Uh, this is something that you will be tweaking regardless of your outcome or the project. So let's have actually a parameter for those. Right click, parameter, and I am going to rename that to opacity min because that's what it is. Copying the name, going into B channel, right click and parameter. And I am going to call that opacity. Yep, you guessed it. Opacity max. Now let's put these guys into a comment and I can kind of move that comment away. Let's save, let's go to the scene and see what improvement this setup made to our material. Well, that's great. Right off the bat, you can see that it fixed the issue of refraction that we have and you can see how beautifully the water refracts. Now, it lacks specularity and you can see that while it's from an, a particular angle, it's kind of working. Uh, I think we can definitely do much better. So let's go ahead and fix some of these issues. By the way, I believe I did not update mix and opacity min and max. I should have. So for opacity min, I would like to set this to point two. For opacity max, I would like to set this to point eight. And that probably had an impact on what we viewed things as well. You can see we get a, a little bit of improvement. So don't forget to adjust the default value every time you turn an attribute into a parameter. All right, let's go to specular and see how we can change stuff here. Uh, we have specularity here and we have metallic and I would like to give this a simple constant node and parameterize them at the same time. So instead of going an instant and plug into this, since I know I will be using that on my material instance, I'm just going to right click and say promote to parameter and I have specular promote to parameter. I have metallic. Fantastic. For metallic, this is something that I really need to look dev. I need to save and see what we're dealing with. But for specularity, I know I really need a good degree of specularity, maybe 10, 
we're going to adjust it that will be the default and through our material instance we're going to adjust all of these values and of course metallic of uh, zero is um, probably a bit too low i'm just going to start with 0.2 and we take it from there now if i bring up the material instance drag and drop in here i'm not sure if i did that previously so we are going to do that making sure that any adjustment we make we can see this live without compiling time and all of these attributes that we parameterized we are now having access to that feel free to put them into groups really um, if you uh, want to get even more organized than this now for metallic you can see as soon as i increase that we're um, darkening the depth of the water so if i go 0.5 0.6 we're darkening the depth which is really not a bad effect i'm actually liking this i think 0.6 is definitely too much though maybe 0.3 or 0.2 is actually a good starting point with opacity of the finale well this is 1.33 as agreed with opacity finale uh, we have opacity min and max so if you ever want to make this murkier or darker all you need to do is just to increase the opacity min to something like 0.6 you can see the water gets a little bit more opaque i think a bit too much at this point maybe 0 0.25 for max maybe 0.85 works just fine reflection funnel six you can always kind of intensify that you can see how it changes if i bring this down to something like three we're really getting kind of unusual amount of refraction so probably four five i actually like the five or six yeah six should do it if i put seven yeah that's actually a lot better i'm gonna go happy medium 6.5 and with specular i think the default definitely works for us all right there you have it i mean a lot can still be done but just a basic setup for translucent water i think this setup is really easy to put together if you want quick and easy setup and get some really nice translucency and refraction into your water as you can see and you have enough control to change things on spot even the colors of the water can be changed of course at any point of time I can go ahead and select my light source and just simply change the rotation to sort of get a better read for my water that should really do the trick uh, thank you very much guys uh, for tuning in and I hope you found this video useful until the next one take care see you guys later